Ash Ketchum has had many designs over the years, but throughout all of those designs, the most popular is without a doubt X and Y Ash. However, even with that information, the newer designs for Ash Ketchum have strayed down a completely different path in terms of design. So today, I'm going to be talking about why we'll never see another Ash design along the lines of Pokemon X and Y. Okay, before we get into the main part of the video, I want to explain a bit about Ash Ketchum for those who don't know. Ash is the main protagonist of the Pokemon anime, and he has been since 1997. And although many years have passed since that date, Ash continues to stay the same age which he begun, which is 10. Ash started off as a 10 year old boy. This is because Ash was based off of Red, who was also 10 in the first Pokemon games, Pokemon Red and Green. And even now, Ash remains to be 10 years old. I'm not gonna go into why Ash is still 10 to this day, you can use your own theories if you want to, but just know he's still 10 years old. Now with all that cleared up, when we look at Ash's designs, we can see that he looks like he's aging, albeit very slowly, but still aging nonetheless. Of course the reason for this is just that Pokemon's art style is ever evolving, but we still can't ignore the fact that Ash looks older, despite his age still being 10. Which brings us to the main Ash of the video, XY Ash. Like the previous seasons, XY gave Ash's character a redesign. This time Ash has a smaller head, spikier hair, and a slimmer build, thus making him look older despite being the same height as all the other Ashes. As I said earlier, Pokemon's art style is ever evolving, and this isn't just restricted to the anime, it's also part of the games as well. If you look at all protagonist characters in Pokemon, you can see they all look different ages, and this is because they are literally all different ages. For example, Red was 10 in his debut, but the Gen 5 trainers are around 14, and Callum and Serena, the protagonists of X and Y, are 15 to 17. This brings us back to XY Ash, who was designed based around Callum, if that wasn't obvious enough. And with Callum as inspiration, Ash also looked like he was 15 to 17 years old. Hence why in all the fan arts that show off Ash in all his versions, you can see XY Ash normally looks the tallest out of all of them. So now that you understand why Ash looks different in his designs, let me explain to you why we'll never see an Ash looking like this ever again. The reason I think this is because Ash is meant to be 10 years old, so logically speaking it doesn't really make sense for him to look like a 15 to 17 year old. Which is why designs like his journeys or sun and moon designs are more character accurate even though they're arguably less cool. Another reason you could argue that we'll never see an Ash like this actually has to do with Serena. Disclaimer, if you like to ship Pokemon characters, good for you. Personally, I don't partake and have no opinion. In the X and Y anime, Serena had a very obvious crush on Ash Ketchum and it was the main point of her character. So we would see a lot of moments where the two characters seem like a couple. The only thing is, they're meant to be 10 years old, so when you have scenes playing like this, it can be kinda awkward. But I'm not saying that kids can't fall in love or have relationships, but with a series like Pokemon where the point is that you catch monsters, it wasn't all that necessary. And I think the anime writers kind of agree, because when Ash and Serena reunited in Journeys, they did not reference their relationship or kiss in any way at all. Rip to the Amor shipping I guess. Although I said these points, I could be totally wrong, and the art style for the Scarlet and Violet anime could be just like X and Y. So let me know in the comment section down below whether or not you agree or disagree with me. And if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe as well. And with all that said and done, take care.